We're doing a outdoors, distanced neighborhood concert extravaganza sponsored by the lovely folks at the Feldman's Neighborhood Association. Oh, can, can he My parents played the Rolling Stones when I was growing up. But it wasn't until I was 15 and I saw the Maxwell Street scene in Blues Brothers um, with John Lee Hooker, which is ironically the only blues song in the whole movie. From then on, I got a John Lee Hooker album and then Muddy Waters deep into it for the next 35 years. <laughs> Con consequently, here I am, you know. So I grew up in Bisbee through some stroke of cosmic fate. Our neighbor at the time was a man named Ben Todd. He uh, burned cassette tapes of, you know, great listening material for a kid of that age, like a, Mance Lipscomb, Georgia Prison Work Songs. I was constantly listening to that stuff in, in a stroller going through Bisbee. And I think that that just like internalized a lot of the sounds of this music within my brain at a very young age. I was working in 17th Street uh, Market in the music store there. Roman Barton Sherman, he's got a blues name too. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing Brother Man over here play. Tear it up, bud. And I was like, oh yeah, I've been told about that guy. He's from Bisbee. And people were like getting hype about him already. <laughs> He obviously had a passion for it, and I saw that common thing with with me. You know, it's like, oh, he's he's <laughs> a lifer. You know what I mean? He's in this for the long haul. I've been incredibly fortunate for many reasons, specifically with my friendship and musical collaboration with Tom Wallbank. just came to Tucson and was in middle school, he trusted me enough to let me open up for him at Cafe Passe. And we did that for many years. He would play first, and then we would do a couple of songs together, and now I, I would get up and do my set. Thank you very much. And now, to Tom we took that to Congress, and we did that at Congress patio for many years. I feel like I've learned a huge amount by just watching him perform, because he's so, you know, just such a professional. I find myself at a loss for words just trying to describe, like, how locked into it he is. As he's got older, uh, it's the rhythm that's got better. Because he always had the facility for the notes, uh, but the, the solid rhythmic timing is, is where it's just like, yeah, he's, he's fully formed now, so yeah. It's funny, it wasn't until the pandemic that we started doing gigs together. Playing for a couple of songs, so much fun, but when you really get locked into it for hours, different things happen. We've worked out a way of playing this kind of like telepathic thing. You know what they're gonna do on a dime. And it ain't gonna be long till it rain me away from Tucson will always be a home, 
and the community in Tucson will always be something that I hold very dear. I'm going to be splitting my time between Tufts University and the New England Conservatory. Five years for two degrees. The program that I'm going to is called Contemporary Improvisation. It's like the only non-jazz or classical conservatory program. So there's a bunch of people coming from different directions, but all of them have a strong centralized passion for something that they've established a foundation for independently, more or less. So it's the, yeah, it's the last time for a while that Tom and Roman will play together. <laughs> and, you know, and it is. I'm, I'm laughing now because I know we'll be, he'll be back. He'll like learn violin or learn piano. And next week he's playing this crazy, tricky stuff. So he's a stone cold musician. So he, I was, like I said, the sky's the limit after he goes to university. It's definitely a marker in, 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 you know, in his life as a young man, and it's the next step. Mr. Roman Biden Sherman, ladies and gentlemen. Please give a hand, Mr. Tom Walker, everybody. <laughs> 